my name is Anthony and welcome to Wash Wednesday. Today we have Larisha here and what kind of vehicles do we got? So we have a 2017 Chevy Colorado Duramax Z71 and in the bed we have a CR252 stroke. So I didn't sign up to wash both vehicles, but I'm more than happy to wash the truck. So have you ever done a two bucket wash method? No. All right, so today's gonna be exciting because we're gonna be using our brand new Cyclone wash mitt along with the two bucket wash method with soap and water. We're gonna be using an assortment of microfiber drying towels, an instant detailer and gloss enhancer for our drying aid, and a couple awesome wheel brushes to clean up these wheels. So are you ready to do this? Yeah. All right, let's go for it. All right, so we're gonna do a pre-rinse with good old-fashioned water. Um, do you wanna do the honors of this while I go turn on the water? Sure. Okay, and another thing too, if you guys hear any crazy screams or any loud noises, there is a kids clinic going on right next to us, so we apologize for that, but hopefully the audio won't pick that up too much. All right, I'm gonna go turn on the water. heavy just, a, just a little bit <laughs> all right so we have our wash and rinse bucket here both have grit guards in them and we have two of our new cyclone wash mitts and our optimum car wash soap so the car is completely rinsed were you able to get the top of the car let's not talk about that <laughs> okay so we're not going to talk about that <laughs> i help i helped her get the top so we're going to go ahead and get started here we're going to work methodically from top to bottom as you always should so I'm gonna work up top here, don't worry. I'll get that if you wanna start on the sides. Sound good? Go team. All right, grab your mitt. Oh, <laughs> All right, so with the two bucket wash method, one thing to keep in mind, we're gonna be doing panel by panel, which means after you get one panel done, you can flip the mitt or take your wash mitt and go back into the rinse bucket. So we're gonna be rinsing off all the dirt from the panel. From the wash bucket, to the car, to the rinse bucket, to the wash bucket, to the car. Does that make sense? Okay. All right, so I got done with, with half the roof, so I'm going back into my rinse bucket, rinsing off all the dirt from up top there, back into my wash bucket, loading it with my solution, and going to the other side. This is the first truck we've had on the show, and uh, it's a little more work than I was expecting. Got a little bit more surface area. All right, Larisha, so it's time to start talking about the truck. How long have you had it? Uh, a couple months. <laughs> couple months now, so it's brand new? Yes. Awesome, so how do you like it so far? I'm not a truck girl, really. It's, you know, to help me out with whatever I need, whenever I need it, stir bikes, dogs because i see you have a dirt bike in there right now <laughs> so obviously this is one of its purposes but dogs are another thing yes dogs are another thing okay okay it's more of a mid-sized truck right so it's yes. not going to be your biggest truck but for you it this is a big truck because <laughs> you're perfect. little so that makes sense <laughs> all right so you've gone from the rinse bucket you got the quarter panel on the doors right that and that okay that. perfect so <laughs> you'll work on the back end here um, so I want to know, what vehicle, what other vehicles have you had before this? So you actually just got this. What was your previous vehicle? I had a 2005 Evo You had, a, you had an Evo? Yes. What? <laughs> it, wait, hold on. But you got rid of the Evo for, for a truck. I'm sorry, I'm a car person, so this is hard for me to to understand. But it's a cool truck. So what? why, why do you get rid of the Evo? Okay, you're a car guy. Yes, yes. I'm a motorcycle girl. Okay, all right, all right. So, trucks and motorcycles go hand in hand. Bikes and cars don't and really kind of fit together. I've seen I've seen some pretty cool trailer setups with with cars pulling bikes. So that, that could I be a possibility. Do that to my Evo, you yeah, my Evo was my baby. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, all right. And so and you and you recently sold that and so you got this and I'm guessing it's much different, right? It is. It's a whole other world. I was kind of upset at first. I mean, I had right? I had to accept. Yeah, I had to accept the fact that this is a truck. It's not your stick shift little race car. So 
So this is a diesel, which is pretty cool because I mean it is a smaller diesel, right? Do you uh, you ever roll coal, as as the, as the kids say? <laughs> is that that's not? They're not, a, that's they're not like a, that stock. They okay, don't, they don't okay. Like that. you, that's an aftermarket. So so it's still stock then. You haven't you haven't done any any mods to it yet? Done anything crazy? I mean, aside from accessories, so tint and the the bars right there. But you install these t so you can get inside it, right? Because you're little, yeah. oh. right? <laughs> I even, you know, I thought I'd use them. I need a lift before I use them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, so I'm using the new wash mitt. As you guys can see, this thing gets super sudsy. Every time I wring it out, it develops a ton of suds. It's pulling off all the dirt and grime off of this, off this fender here. It's an awesome, awesome mitt. So it's gonna be a split microfiber. It's a 70-30 blend. It is Korean quality. Um, has our logo stamped right here on the cuff. And like I said, it's just the gift that doesn't stop giving. Look at all the suds. It just keeps creating more and more and more. But back into the rinse bucket because I'm done with that fender. Reach, I'm trying to talk to you, but it's kind of hard moving around this bigger vehicle. So tell me a little bit more. What are, you, what are your plans for the truck? Oh, boy. I haven't really thought about it because quite honestly, my bike takes all of my money. <laughs> okay. what, so what kind of bike do you have then? A ZX6R. So yes. a ninja, right? Yes, Cowie okay. Ninja. Awesome. 2015. Awesome. That is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the rinse bucket for you. Okay, and so whenever you're washing, right, we got a little bit of direct sun hitting us. You never want to let direct sun dry up your soap. So I see a dry panel here with no water on it. I'm going to hit that again before I take my mitt to it because I want it to be lubricated on both surfaces. I want my sponge, or I guess my wash mitt to be lubricated, and I want the surface of the panel I'm working on to be lubricated as well. So whenever you start seeing some panels dry up, don't be afraid to take out your, uh, your sprayer and hit everything once again. Anthony! What happened? What did you do? You overshot that one. Oh! <laughs> All right, so the truck is nice and sudsy. We have our spray here. I'm gonna go back and rinse everything off before it dries from top to bottom. And I'll got it this time since you did it last time. Sound good? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, this is, this is much messier than our rinseless washes that we've been doing. My glasses are completely soaked. I'm getting soaked. I'm starting to prefer the rinseless wash, but I still miss the old fashioned soap method. All right, so we are done rinsing this off now. That is a lot of work. Um, it's not even a big truck and it's still a lot of work. So now that we've rinsed it off, we're gonna go ahead and grab our waffle weave drying towels along with our drying aid and get this dry before that sun starts drying that water. All right, so we have our Korean waffle weave drying towels. Um, these are our Dry Me A River Junior drying towels. So they have the silk edge along the, along the border here. Um, they are one of our most absorbent towels that we have, perfect for drying. Have you used a waffle weave before? Never. Never? Okay. So it's extremely absorbent. It's gonna do a great job. And what's gonna make it better is we're gonna be using our instant detailer and gloss enhancer. So we're gonna be using this as a drying aid, meaning any panels that are starting to dry up, we can use this to spray the surface and lubricate it so our towel absorbs more and does a better job cleaning with the first pass. So we're gonna go panel by panel and I'll let you lead the way. Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna do one spray per panel with our drying aid. So go ahead and do a spray here on the door, and that's perfect. And then start drying away. I'm gonna start at the roof because that's gonna be the first area the water's gonna start drying. How does it feel? It's smooth. It's smooth, yeah. <laughs> it makes things feel a lot smoother. Um, it picks up more dirt, does better with your first pass, and it smells like bubble gum. So that's probably my favorite part about it. All right, you need another spray? Um, yeah, start working your way to the fender. I will, I'm scooting over. Oh, oh no, oh no, we're meeting in the middle here. Hold on, I'm sorry. I'll get this area and then I'll get out of your way. 
All right, so Larisha, what made you want to get the Z71 and not just the normal Colorado? Because it sounds like you like special things. You like you like your Evo ADMR, right? Yes. And so you like kind of like that maybe that special edition is kind of what you try to go for? Yeah, I just, I like nice things. <laughs> you like nice things? <laughs> well, I mean, in the long term, I plan to keep this truck for the rest of forever. And so in the long term, you know, I want to have that thing that's going to hold its value. Yeah. That, that thing that's gonna, you know, something better gonna, resale value. Yeah, I'm gonna cherish and you know love and want to keep around. And gotcha. So this this truck's in it for the long haul then. It is. And so and you did say that you did want you wanted to lift it. Eventually. Eventually. What what are you thinking? Like a one inch, two inch lift? Um, for this. Bigger one, than that. Yeah. I'm gonna say a little <laughs> bigger. <laughs> bigger than that. Okay. I that. Yeah. No, I think this truck's gonna look awesome once it's lifted. It's gonna be a little hard to get a motorcycle in the back, right? I mean, Maybe. That's what ramps are for. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. All right, just adjust the ramps a little higher. All right, fair enough. My bad. My bad. Like I said, I'm not totally a truck guy, so I'm learning. This is a this is a learning process for both of us. I'm teaching you how to dry your and wash your car. You're teaching me about your truck. Okay, so are you done on that side? I will go ahead and do a spray over here, and I will give you the bottle so you can go wherever you want. get this fender over here and don't forget what you can do is what's nice about having your towel folded is that you have so many like multiple surface areas right. once it's folded you can flip it over to a cleaner side and kind of work with eight different angles All right, so you said that there's no real mods here yet besides just a couple of visual mods. And you said that Z, the ZX6R is your baby. So what's done to the ZX6? Do you want me to actually go through everything? I, I want you to go through through most of the things. So I'm sure you guys are interested in what her bike has. And I'm sure we probably get that on the show here eventually, right? Eventually. Eventually, oh, you'll let, it, you'll let us do that. <laughs> you'll let me wash your bike, thank you. Very, I feel very privileged. <laughs> so what do you have done to it? Uh, let's see, it's straight piped because that's a big one. Don't, right? Hey, don't Everybody stop. Don't worry. We, 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 we got stuff to do. We got right, stuff to do. Okay, right. okay, okay, okay. Keep, okay. Uh, dry, <laughs> dry, dry, dry and talk. Dry and talk. Dry and talk. Okay, so um, everyone's big on exhausts, right? Performance and such things. Yeah. I will do the headers eventually, but. Um, What's on it right now? It's just a straight pipe. Straight pipe. So it probably sounds pretty the, gnarly, the right? Stockness, but it, yeah, it does. The straight pipe adds a nice deep sound to it. Okay. Know. Got a power commander, but needs a tune, obviously, since I decided to take off that stock pipe. It has a cage on it as well. Levers for clutch and brakes. Vortex rear sets. This is getting to be a pretty big list here. I told so, you. There, so there's a lot. I was expecting you to say, oh, there's a power commander, there's an exhaust, you know, but you keep going. What, what kind of visual mods are on it? I have the Impact Tech cage. They refer to it as their race rails. Okay, all right, so you have a caged ZX, you're just getting cooler and cooler. I'm sure the viewers are loving this. <laughs> and how do you, are you, a, would you consider yourself like a moderate rider? Do you ride pretty hard or? I would consider myself simply an aggressive rider. Okay, okay. Um, not necessarily the reckless kind that go around and break people's cars when they piss me off, but yeah. the kind so you don't, that. You don't break any mirrors or anything? No, no. <laughs> you're, you're nice, you're Maybe. a nice rider. <laughs> okay. Um, but I mean, I, to, you know, get low in my turns and whatnot. And okay. You like take up to the mountains and stuff? Yeah, yeah. What? So I was gonna say, we feel pretty privileged here living in Idaho that we have those kind of mountains and those type of twisties like 30 minutes, minutes away. away yeah. yeah, minutes away. And it's great for motorcyclists to go up there and kind of Definitely. stretch stretch their legs, right? <laughs> Without having to worry about any uh, any negativity or anything like that, right? Not not that we're breaking speed limits, right? No. No, no you Never. wouldn't do that. Never. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like we've pretty much dried off the entire car. Oh, missed a window here. Two windows, actually. My bad. That was that my fault. My side, I don't know. Was it your side? I'll take. Remember. I'll take the blame for. It. I'm feeling nice today. So, all right. So we have dried most of the car. We'll do some touch up after the drying process here. We should have probably got the wheels knocked out when we were rinsing and washing everything with the soap and water. But since we have the sun going with direct sunlight, I kind of wanted to wait till the end for that. So we're going to be using a separate bucket for our wheel cleaning. We're gonna be using our two brushes, our ultra green, very, very green brushes, along with some power clean to knock off any brake dust and get those wheels looking brand new. Sound good? Yay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, uh, so, uh, apparently it sounds good, so let's do it. All right. 
Okay, so we have our wheel cleaning supplies here. So we're gonna be using our very green wheel brushes that are sitting in a solution of O&R mix at 256 to one. We're gonna be using Power Clean diluted at three to one, meaning three parts water, one part Power Clean. And then we're gonna be using our OptiBond tire gel along with our applicator sponge to shine up these tires since they are pretty meaty. So I will give you the honors of spraying down the wheel first with the Power Clean and we'll get to scrubbing. Okay, so we'll usually let the power clean sit here for about 10, 15 seconds or so just to kind of let the product start doing some work itself. And then we're gonna grab our brushes. So these are our very green wheel cleaning brushes. They can also work on the body as well, the car, but we like to use them specifically for wheels since they do such a good job that are kind of swimming in a solution of O&R. So you'll start on that side of the wheel, I'll start on this side. These brushes work perfect because these wheels have a nice large face to them, so we're not kind of get, we're not getting in too many intricate areas. We're able to clean the entire wheel just by hitting the face of it. All right, and then what I like to do is after we're done with that, I'll hit, we'll do a quick ring around the tire. So we'll let that sit for a second. We're gonna go get that hose and spray it off. We'll dry it, and then we're gonna apply this stuff on it. Okay, so we have our Spectrum 420. So this is a dual pile microfiber towel. It's got the shorter terry side on one end and it's got the more plush side on the other side. And I'm a big fan, if you haven't already, if you couldn't already tell, of using darker colored towels for my wheel cleaning just because I don't like seeing them show all that dirt and it's easy for me to establish them as being wheel towels. So you'll start on that side, I'll start on this side. And what are you usually using to clean your wheels? Brush? Walmart. <laughs> Wal more Walmart? Okay, more Walmart. At least you're being honest here. I'm sure there's a lot of people watching that, that are using Walmart supplies, and hey, that's okay. You know, because like I said before, as long as I'm here in microfiber, I'm happy. Microfiber um, is better than using good old fashioned cotton. So, what's nice about the 420 is it is a thicker towel. I do understand that. But with a face of a wheel like this that's larger, with a larger spoke size, it works perfect. If it was a more intricate wheel, I'd use something smaller with a lower GSM, such as a uh, Edgeless 245 or something along those lines because that can get into these small wheel spokes. And as you can see, the lug nut recesses on the truck here really aren't that small. So I'm able to take the edge of the towel and go around the recesses and pick up all that extra water that are sitting down there at the bottom. This wheel looks really good. And we're gonna go ahead and apply our OptiBond tire gel. All right, so we got our OptiBond tire gel and the wheel is completely cleaned and dry. So we're gonna go ahead and take this, put a little bit onto our applicator spudge. We don't need a whole lot because like all Optum products, the less you use, the better. Oh, thank you for putting the cap back on. How Can nice of work. you. <laughs> so the wheel is still, or the tire is still damp, but that's okay. That's just actually gonna make the product spread a little easier. So if you have an air compressor um, or a kind of some type of compressed spray gun, you can actually use the OptiBond in a spray gun and get more of an even coating along the tire itself. So what some people can do is you can put this onto the tire and you can let it sit and walk away and call it good and it'll have more of a shine to it. If you want more of that matte kind of satin finish, you can take a microfiber and go back over the tire and kind of get rid of that sheen and keep it to a nice um, deep black look. But you like a little shine, right? Of course, the girl. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's what I thought. So we finished up with this tire. We are going to knock out the other wheels, get those clean and get some tire gel on those. And I think we'll be done. Sound good? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, so we are officially done with the Colorado Z71. We used the two bucket wash method with soap, water, and our new Cyclone wash mitts. We used an assortment of microfiber drying towels for the wheels and for the body on the car itself. We used an instant detail and gloss enhancer as our drying aid, and we got to try out OptiBond tire gel on the tires. So Larisha, what do you think? Do you have fun? Of course. Yeah? So what was your favorite part of the whole wash? Mm, I would have to say the instant detail. You like that? Because yes. it smelled like bubble gum or because it worked? I mean, a little the bit. The smells were nice. Okay, the smells <laughs> were nice. Okay, that's what, I, that's what I thought.
But uh, yeah, so hopefully you learned some things from this because that's kind of the whole point of the show to kind of teach you proper wash techniques. So are you planning on changing up what you do at home after you've experienced this? Definitely. Definitely, yeah. okay. Still using a pressure washer, but two buckets maybe more soap, more water, maybe a little less Walmart products or? Exactly, I was gonna say, I'm from my, try stepping away from Walmart a little bit and try new things. And try new <laughs> things, okay, it never hurts to do that. So now is the time for the most important question of this entire series, of this entire episode, which is, can we go for a drive? You're driving. For real? Yeah. I get to drive? Yeah. I get to drive, okay, <laughs> I get to drive, first time, let's do it. And so, yeah, this is the first time anybody's let me drive their uh, their car, I guess truck, on Wash Wednesday. So this is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. This is cool. So go ahead and start up the Colorado Z71 Duramax diesel. This gauges do a cool little sweep there at the beginning. Yeah. Right? It's okay. We got to buckle up for. Oh, I need a buckle. For, you're already. You're already. I'm already you beat buckled. Me. This is a habit for me. Do you have donuts down there? Are those, those donuts? I don't know how long they've been in there. They're not mine. So. They look. I'm not gonna eat them in your car because I don't want to make can. a mess. Um, all right, so we're in the car. Um, automatic, so pretty simple. And let's take this thing for a spin. So, do you have any? Do you have any errands you need to run in this thing? No, I'm really hungry though. We should go get some like Chick Fil A or something. Chick Fil A, it yes. is. All right. <laughs> I figured this uh, right at the end of the show is gonna be a little bit different than we've done it before because not only am I driving, but we're in a truck and we got a dirt bike in the back. That's kind of what I wanted to do on this drive because this is gonna be different. Like all the other cars we've had, we've done some crazy rides up in the mountains and twisties and stuff, but I kind of want to know what this what this truck is like kind of driving from a day-to-day -day basis and kind of why you like it. Going from an, an 05 Evo to a 17 Colorado, there's definitely a big jump in just technology in general because I mean, that Evo's like, barely got, you know, the automatic window kind of a thing. Yeah, that was like, <laughs> that was, it was an exciting thing that you had automatic, <laughs> you had an automatic window on right. one I side. It's because everything was just so manual on an oh, Evo yeah. and, and God knows that the AC switches on an Evo are like from the stone ages, right? right? Yeah. So this is all, you know, like a big step up. It came with satellite radio and all that. Mm -hmm. And you said on OnStar? Yeah. OnStar, um, push that, you can talk to him. I know that I don't, I mean, you can talk, I, you, can you call him just to, if you're lonely? Yeah, or, you can actually. <laughs> I didn't pay into it. I'm like, why, why would I need that? That's what a cell phone's for, right? But I mean, okay, I understand. If you roll over, you're in an accident, you lose your phone, it goes flying out the window, now what are you gonna do? Well, you still have this SOS push button, dials 911 right away. Oh, um, okay. Granted, you're not paying for OnStar, Maybe yeah. you are, maybe you're not. I'm not. So I still have my SOS button. If cool, you know, like worst shop. case scenario, exactly. if you roll it in like an off roading, exactly. you're you're jumping this thing off some jumps, right? Because mm. you do that, right? Yeah, sure. yeah totally, <laughs> totally. Okay, so we were at the drive-through, and you told me a couple more features that this had. Did you get your Facebook on it and stuff like that? Oh yeah. But, that sounds but, super dangerous. <laughs> like, because I'd be like, notifications, right. I need to check that while I'm driving, swerving through traffic. Like, how does that work? You must be in park to access certain features. Okay, certain um, features. If you're driving, right. it will cut you off and tell you to look up. Wow. So, do you know what you want? <laughs> you guys sell lemonade and sweet tea by the gallon, right? Yeah. Can I get one of each of those? Well, the, <laughs> the lemonade, <laughs> you guys are Here's your gallon <laughs> of you. sweet <laughs> tea. All right. <laughs> Okay, so we have we have our lunch now. We have our <laughs> gallons of sweet tea and lemonade. All right, so this marks the end of our Wash Wednesday. We have a clean truck, we have food, and we have a happy girl sitting at the top of her throne up there. So, Larisha, did you have a fun time today? Did you learn a couple things? You learned me good. Learned you good? All right. <laughs> so, and hopefully you guys learned something as well. Um, Larisha, do you have anything where the viewers watching can check out more pictures of your truck or your motorcycles or anything like that? I have Instagram. Instagram, all right. It's the underscore royal underscore ZX6R. All right, so there it is. So if you guys wanna see more vehicles on Wash Wednesdays, specific ones, let us know down in the comments on what you wanna see and we'll do our best to try to get those on the show. The whole goal of the show is to learn cool things, learn wash techniques, and obviously see the cars that you guys came here to see. So please stay tuned for more videos right here at Wash Wednesday and we'll see you next week.
You said you weren't gonna make me wash this thing. 